In the last lecture we looked into the example of a strong problem statement. Now let's look into the example of a weak problem statement. The problem statement says, the Canton, Ohio bakery is producing undercooked bread. Customer dissatisfaction with the bread is resulting in returns and bad word of mouth. The bread is supposed to be baked at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. This statement introduces a problem, but it doesn't provide details about when the problem occurred, how it was measured, and what the true magnitude is. The problem statement also begins going into possible root causes when it includes how the bread should be baked, but we know that the problem statement isn't the place to begin this type of analysis. This statement might be better framed as, In November and December 2014, Customer satisfaction complaints were traced back to bread baked in the Canton, Ohio facility. The facility produced 300,000 loaves during that time period and received 50,000 complaints of bread being undercooked. Bread returns and loss of sales related to quality are estimated to be $125,000 per month. Then it would become a strong problem statement.